Hi guys, or should I say Wagwan? Today we're making a Rasta pasta. And I mean, just look at the pasta, you guys. So creamy, so good, so delicious. So you wanna get your bell peppers and you wash them first, of course, and these are the colors that I'm using. And you wanna go ahead and cut them lengthwise like so. All right, then you wanna go ahead and boil your pasta and this is the pasta I'm using. It is very similar to penne, as you can see, pretty much identical. This one is just a little longer and skinnier. So I either go between this one or penne. And you wanna follow package directions, of course. When that's done, you're gonna drain it and set it aside. A quick rundown of the ingredients. Then we're gonna be using just a little bit of parmesan i love this better than bouillon chicken base jerk seasoning of course and i love walker's wood mild you could use spicy if you like your rasta pasta mad hot i don't also coconut milk and um heavy cream and a little bit of butter so you want to go ahead and heat your pan up add your butter let that melt and then you're going to saute your bell peppers in there until they become soft. Then you want to go ahead and add your heavy cream. And then I'm going to add a heaping tablespoon of that Walker's wood mild jerk seasoning as well as one regular tablespoon of my better than bouillon chicken base and then i'm going to go in with some coconut milk but i'm using it in the powder form you could use the liquid version but i prefer the powder form for this and you want to go in with about a tablespoon and a half or to two tablespoons of that mix that in really quickly so that it dissolves in the sauce and this is what add that extra mm. it's like that secret ingredient in your rasa pasta so 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 good and then i'm going to introduce my pasta to this saucy goodness Then I love finishing it up with some parm. I love adding a little bit of parmesan to my rasa pasta. And of course guys, you taste for salt as you go. Um, if you feel like you need some salt, you add. I actually didn't really have to add any salt in this, like the parm the jerk seasoning and all of that the chicken bouillon they all added just enough salt for me i didn't need to add any now don't tell anyone i told you this but you're gonna add a pinch of brown sugar in there just a pinch as you can see it was literally just a pinch you mix that in and you're done you guys as you can see the sauce has thickened up it's not too runny not too soupy but it's also not dry as well this was so good and as always i'm gonna list everything you need to know in the description bar and i'll see you in my next one latest <laughs>